I know of no other Australian artist craftsman with such a lengthy and diverse career focusing on glass. Beyond embracing normal teachable and commercial clay and glass techniques, that crucial diversity paralleled idiosyncratic so-called schizophrenia. Its rationale is that glass can be a psychological material with all the narrative depth and contemporary issue themes of a morality play. There's a realistic bottom line for this April 2018 video featuring my retrospective exhibition at Gallery in Adelaide. That is the fact that the Australian craft scene, which has dominated my career since the 1960s, is a result of an army of talented, innovative, self-motivated individuals freely sharing their wisdom. No one person could claim responsibility for more than a fraction of our current maturity, which globally speaking punches above our weight of nearly 25 billion souls in Australia. As individuals, uh, we are cogs in an ongoing wheel of fortune, or as John Lennon quit, life is what happens when you're making other plans. Metaphorically, birds and fish and liberated from human rules humans, those three foci or icons have underpinned my genre since primary school. Eagerly exploring fresh territory or unorthodox lateral thoughts. They three-dimensionally diverge or bravely stray from their static plinth-bound environs via oft mimed and costumed performances or playable games. That unorthodox paradigm has spawned a career-long mem of aesthetic fluidity rules, okay? Scalizzi proclaims he lives in both worlds, fine arts and applied art, simultaneously and without conflict. Clearly, individuals such as Scalizzi sparked initial interest in the new medium, for which he deserves the title of Father of Australian Studio Glass. Schizophrenia manifested itself in a costumed and masked street theatre art performances and playable mixed media mind games and somewhat surrealistic, temporary, site-specific glass installations. Scalizzi shows wild confidence and total irreverence to glass because he is not tied into some historical worship of glass. Rather, he attacks the medium in an expressive and joyous manner. wry comment from a much better integrated glass dinosaur who opined, Scalizzi is the exception to everything. And as author Grace Cochran said, innovative, resourceful, imaginative, he has never stopped. The over half century of my career encompassed the ever maturing post Vietnam War contemporary craft movement and echoed my personal incremental transition from an athletic black haired fresh faced youth into a worldly wise wrinkled white haired man of three score and ten. Such is life so far. Meanwhile, back to the future.